In this video tutorial, we are going to be using the free online version of SketchUp to create ourselves a USB and SD card holder. It's going to look something like the one you can see on your screen right now, so I'll go for a bit of a fly around and you can see what you're going to be making. You can see on top you've got space for three USBs, and you've also got a slot at the back to put a SD card in. Okay, so there's not much to it, just some fairly simple shapes. Okay, but we've got some strict measurements that we need to use in this one. Okay, so you need to be careful and listen carefully to the video to get those measurements spot on. Okay, so let's get started by loading up SketchUp. You will see a screen like this once you've signed in. Uh, the first thing we need to do is we need to make a new model by going up to our hamburger menu in the top left, selecting new model, and choosing the millimeters template. That will get us out of feet and inches and into millimetres. And the next thing we're going to do is just click on the chick and as always press delete on your keyboard to get rid of her. And I'm going to go over to my views panel on the right hand side first up and select the top view. What we're going to be doing is looking straight down on top of our model today to get started. First shape that we need to draw is a simple square. So go and grab your rectangle tool from your left hand toolbox. Click on the origin once, and you can move your mouse out and see that the rectangle or square is following your mouse cursor. Now remember your dimensions are down the bottom right here. So what I want you to do is type in the dimensions. They're only small, 32, 32. And it's in millimeters, remember, so it's only a 3.2 centimeter by 3.2 centimeter model. It's actually quite small. Okay, so when you press enter, you will see that a little box has appeared right on the origin. You'll need to scroll up on your mouse to zoom in and see that. If you don't have a mouse, just go over here to your toolbox and grab your magnifying glass and zoom in so you can see this square a bit clearer. Now, if you don't have a mouse, grab your orbit tool now. Or if you have a mouse, just use your mouse wheel by holding it down. And you can go for a bit of a fly around your 2D square that you've just drawn on the page. Okay, the next job is to extrude it to make it a 3D object. So to extrude something in SketchUp, we need to grab our push-pull tool, and we're just going to lift this square up. Now it needs to come up a distance of 18 millimeters, so just type in 18 and press Enter, or just pull it up until you see the distance set to 18 millimeters. And this is the generic slab for our USB and SD card holder. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to draw in the little um, spaces for our USB slots. So go back to your views here and I want you to look down on top of the shape again. So choose the top view. Okay, close that panel and what we're going to do first up is grab the line tool. We're going to do a bit of measuring. Okay, we're going to draw in some guidelines that we're not going to keep. We're just going to use these as guides to help us out with our um, USB slots. So I want you to start by clicking in the top left corner of the square that you see and come down the page and just type in 9.5. So we're coming down 9.5 millimeters. Now a line's actually been drawn down the left here. You just can't see it because it's on top of the um, original square that's there. But what I want you to do is just hover your mouse around this area and you will see that a green circle appears. That's the end point of that line we just drew. That's 9.5 millimeters down from the top. So we're going to click on that and draw a line straight across the page and have it connect up to the other side. What we're going to do now is the same thing but just starting from the bottom left corner. So click on that bottom left corner, come up and type in 9.5 and press enter. Hover your mouse around there, around the bottom third. Click on that green dot that you see and come across the page and put in a second line like so. Okay, so these lines are 9.5 millimeters from the top and the bottom of that square. Okay, we're going to fit our little USB um, slots just in between those lines. Alrighty, so the first um, thing we need to do is click on the intersection of this top third line and the edge over here on the left. Click and come across three millimeters and click again. And then we're going to click on that green point and come straight down. Okay. Then we're going to click once again on this intersection here where my mouse is, come across a distance of five millimeters this time. 
and then we're going to click again and come straight down. Now I'm going to grab my eraser here and erase this line and this line by simply clicking and dragging over the top of them. That's got rid of those two lines we no longer need. Now I'm going to do this rectangle shape again over on the other side. So I'm going to click on this intersection and come across 3 millimeters and click again. I'll click and come down to the bottom line and click again. I'll click on that bottom intersection and come across to the left 5 millimeters. And then I'm going to click and come up and connect to the top line. I'll now grab my eraser and erase those two little lines on the end there. So we're left with this. So what we've got here is our first USB slot, our second USB slot. We've just got one to go here in the middle. Okay, so the way we do the one in the middle could be done a few different ways. What I'm going to do is just find the midpoint. Okay, so if you hover around the middle, you'll see the little blue dot appears and it says midpoint. I'm just going to click and go straight down the bottom like so. I'm then going to grab my rectangle tool again. And I'm going to find the exact center of this line. You'll see that it highlights in a light blue color again. I'm going to press Control once and then click and drag out. Now this needs to be 13,5 in size and press Enter. Okay, so that's made the third rectangle we need. I'm just going to grab my eraser and erase that middle line and just a few lines off the side here. Just copy what I've done. What you've got now are your three USB slots. Okay, what we need to do with them now, I'm just going to orbit around a little bit here so we can see it on a bit of a diagonal view. We need to grab our push-pull tool and we're going to click and drag down on these and we're going to type in 13 millimeters. That makes a little hole 13 millimeters in depth and that gives us enough room to put the end of our USB stick into there. I want you to do that for all three slots. Okay, so click and drag down with the push-pull tool, type 13 and press enter. Click and drag down, type 13, press enter. So what you've got now is three slots that have been cut away, and they're 13 mil in depth, and that is our USB section looking great. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do up the very top, I'm going to go back to my views actually and do the top down view. I'm going to put in a section up the top here for the mic. Ah, sorry, for the SD card. Okay, so what we need to do here uh, is we need to grab our line tool again. We're going to need to draw some guidelines. Okay, so from this top left um, end point here on my first USB slot, I'm going to come up a distance of 3.5 and press Enter. Okay, I'll then click on that and go all the way, actually I won't go all the way across yet. I'll go to this end point and come up 3.5, press enter. Now I can connect those two lines. Okay, so this is the bottom of our SD card slot. So what I can do is just grab my eraser and just erase these two lines. We don't need them anymore. Back to my um, pencil tool there. I'm going to go up from this line here, 3 millimeters. so type in 3 and press Enter. Um, and do the same on the other side, come up, press 3, press Enter, and then just connect that up. And that's our slot for our SD card. Now this one's a little bit deeper than the other cuts that we made before, so grab your push-pull tool, click and drag down. We're going down 15 mil this time, so type in 15 and press Enter. Okay, so you can see now we've cut away a little hole that's about 15 mil in depth. All right, so that's looking really good. What I want to do now is just um, fancy this up a little bit by chopping away a bit of this front section. Okay, we've got a lot of empty space here, so you might as well chop a bit away. And we'll put some text on it. Okay, so in your view panel, choose the front view where you're looking front on it, your shape. Grab your line tool. We're going to start in the bottom left corner and come up. A distance of 5 mil, and we're going to go straight across the page like so. Now what I'm going to do, up the top here, top right point, I'm going to go up 5 mil, and I'm going to join those two lines like so. It's in a triangle shape. Now I'm going to go around the other side and do the same thing. I'm going to go to this left corner, come up 5 mil, and then join those two lines. 
Last thing to do is just click on this endpoint, come straight across the page and connect it up over there. So now you've got this little wedge that we're going to take out with our eraser tool in just a moment. Okay, so what we need to do is grab our eraser and just run over a few of these lines that we don't need anymore, like so, and that will just chop that section off. And you've now got a bit of a diagonal cut out of your block. It just makes it look a little bit cooler, I guess. So that's our block done. I'm going to color it in and then I'm going to put some text on top of it in a moment. So grab your white arrow and triple click on this shape. So one, two, three. That will select it all. You can see that it highlights blue. Click on your paint bucket tool over here. Hit the magnifying glass so you can go for a bit of a browse through all the different colors and textures and whatnot. I'm just going to use simple colors for this one. I'll choose a yellow and just slap it onto your um, 3D object. Okay, so that's looking good. Now the last thing I want to do is put some text on. Okay, so inside this rectangle tool option here, we've got some 3D text. Text I'm going to add, oh, you can add whatever text you want, I'm just going to write USB. The height, let's make it about 10 mil. And the extrusion, oh, let's make it about 5 mil. And click OK. Actually, change the font first too. Choose something that you want. There's not many fonts there to pick from, but just pick one that you think looks good. Make it bold if you want, and click OK. And there's the text. Now, if you hover over this diagonal face, you'll see that the text actually will snap onto it. So just click it onto there. Go for a bit of a fly around and make sure you position it where you want it. So I'm going to get it in the center, roughly. And I'm going to grab my scale tool now, which hides inside this move tool menu. It's this square down the bottom with the arrow pointing to the corner. I'm going to grab that center point, just pull it down a bit so it doesn't extrude as far. Okay, I'll then go and grab my materials again and just choose a color for that. So I'm going to go green and put it on the text. Click off it now. And go for a bit of a fly around because you have finished your USB and SD card holder. So two things to do now. First one is hit the save button at the top. That will just take a second to load up your save folder. I'm just going to call it USB SD card holder. Just overriding one that I made earlier. And the second thing, if you do want to export this so that you can 3D print it, Okay, it's quite simple to do. Just go up to your little folder at the top, choose export, and export it as an STL file. Okay, 3D printers read STL files. So when you send that off to your 3D printing software, uh, that should print pretty quickly. It's only a small object. Okay, I won't show you how to do that in this video, but um, I might show you further down the track. Okay, so that's all we're doing for today. Uh, good luck making your own.